Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So you might think it's all doing dishes and, and folding laundry around here, but it's not. And so today I have kind of a special video where my 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 husband and I say hello, husband Andrew. Hi YouTube. We are going to tackle an automotive project. We've never done this before, correct? Never done it before. And the goal is going to be A for it to work and B for us not to get electrocuted in the process. So, to briefly explain, can you hold this? Bivana? I'm going to show the car here. I have this, uh, what, was it 1998? No, it's not no. 1998. What? It might be a 2000 name. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm getting to a point where I get my decades confused. I think it's a 2008, 2009 Subaru Outback. And um, I don't drive it as much anymore. It's kind of our backup car. My main driver is the van over here. And there is an electrical gremlin in this thing that is draining the battery. And so it's an age Whoa. of a... Slowly, right? It's like a slow drain. And it's the age of a car where we don't really want to spend a lot to get it fixed, but I would like to be able to use the car when I want it. So, Andrew came up with this idea. Can you explain a little bit about it? It's a solar battery tender. You hook this up and during the day when the sun is out, it uh, puts a little charge on the battery and hopefully keeps it from going flat. Yes. He saw this on the interwebs. And obviously here in California, we are not short on sun. So what we've had, we have had a battery charger hooked up uh, to get the battery going again because it was so dead. But now we're going to take that apart and hook up this uh, solar charger. So, solar whammer jammer. Solar whammer jammer. So we want to unbox it in the garage where it's cooler. And yeah, yeah, not quite so bright. Right. Okay. Ignore all the batteries. As you can tell, my husband. Don't ignore the battery. My battery. My husband has a. Is pretty my battery has it. My husband has a battery thing. Rechargeable battery for ring of light. Some guys collect. I don't know what anime figures. Well, I would think maybe more like uh, taxidermy or. Okay. Yeah. He collects batteries. Fishing yeah. Good one. Fishing lures. Okay. So. These are little connector doohickeys. See, what's the technical name for this? These. Those are alligator clips. Alligator clips. This is uh ring terminals. Wing terminals? Ring, high. Oh, ring. Ring terminals, apparently. This is what connects to the battery. We actually have a couple different options there. Yeah. This is um Okay. Car, cigarette lighter adapter. Yeah, cigarette lighter adapter. But what, we're not going to use this part, are we? No, because your car doesn't have an always hot cigarette lighter. Yeah, we can't use this part because my car isn't always, um, the lighter isn't always hot. So it would be not getting any charge. Instructions, I'll link this below in case you're interested. And then this is the actual solar panel. Yeah, there's a little connector. Well, what happened to the little suction, suction cups? There should have been four yeah. suction Oh, yeah. Uh, it came with four suction cups so the idea is and that two carabiners. Up. The idea is that... So the idea is you take the suction cups and the carabiners, and then you can dangle the solar panel from, you know, somewhere on the car. Uh, and ideally, I'm going to want to be able to close the hood. Is that going to be possible? Okay. He says it's going to be possible to close the hood. So here's the deal. Yeah. We would cook hook these ring terminals directly to the battery. Right. Right. But because of the length of this, we don't have enough wire. You would need to reach in there and grab that. But why can't you just run it right over the side? Well, then you then you have a you have a problem with the hood. Now maybe we could sneak it out oh, like that. Maybe we could sneak it out right here. Yeah, exactly, right there. Do we have to, can it go anywhere on the terminal? Can it go like, do you tape it on? What do you You're gonna have to move your hand because I can't see when you do that. Okay, why don't you raise up? No, you cannot tape it on. <laughs> You're gonna have to 
You're gonna have to undo that lug. Which point, lug? Point. This one? No. The one one. Yeah, that one. Undo this? Yeah. And stick it under there? Yeah. And then do that on the same side? Yeah. Yeah. Where's the screw on this side? I don't know. Oh, it's on the side. No, no, it's on the side. Put your finger. Oh, here? Yes. Well, that's pretty easy. Okay. I do that. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm loosening the lug. You can use the other end of the wrench. It's ratcheted. Well, maybe this is... Uh, I thought I was moving it. Let me try. No, we need smaller. Flip it over. Flip it over. Well, we need smaller though. Oh wait, maybe not. Hang on, we need we need smaller. Okay. Okay, I'll try this one. Just to see if it's the right side. Yeah, you need the other side. Now, when that nut actually comes off, keep an eye out to make sure nothing comes off that terminal. Okay. Washer is nothing. Just the nut. Just the nut. Is there a washer connected to that? Yeah. So put that back on? No, no, no. The, the washer is connected. Okay, so that's all that came off. Okay, so I've flipped the red terminal. It's got, oh, even though this it has a yellow cord? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So the red one? Yeah. I have to split this a little bit, don't I? Yep. Okay. Now put your nut back on. Okay. okay. Now, do the other side? Yep. I think I gotta come in this angle. Okay. This one's even smaller. This nut. Okay. Why would they be different sizes? Because they can. Oh, this one comes off way easier. Again, keep an eye out to make sure nothing comes out. Okay. can't get you stuck on there, can it? Yeah. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, hold on. Is there an, uh, a bolt that's turning? Yeah. Yeah. So, if that happens, I may need to go get a pair of ice cream to pull the other side of it. This is what they call a nut buster. Okay. Nothing case else came off. So put the other ring terminal on it and mm -hmm. then torque it back down. Can you over tighten these? No, not really, but you can tighten to the point where all you're doing is turning the, the screw. So you need to keep an eye on the other end of it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay. Now what? Uh, I guess now we hook up the panel. Well, try to put the red cover back on better than that, please. Yep. Good. Is there a black one that needs to go on? No. Okay. Uh, so now we hook up the panel. Okay, so... Well, let's talk about how we're gonna... Before we get out there in the scorching sun. Yeah. Um, how are we gonna attach it? Are oh, we gonna... Interesting, interesting. I'm going to dangle the angle. Yeah, so what I'm thinking we do, so it's got some little lights on the back. And the little lights tell you things like, is it charging? What is it doing? Oh, that's right? cool. And as a matter of fact, I can make the lights go just by moving closer to the door. Because it doesn't have a ton in the garage. But, 
Oh, I see. The sun will activate the lights. Science. Oh, yeah. See, let me zoom in. And where they were flashing. Well, right, so. Now see them flash again? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And so what this says on the back. Readers are leaders. Maybe it doesn't say on the back of this, but it might in the directions. Yeah, in the instructions. So what, do we, what we should do, we undo this and connect this to what you just hooked up. Uh -huh. And then uh, put this in the sun and see if we can figure out what the lights are telling us. Okay. Uh, hopefully okay. it'll say it's charging. And we'll figure out the mounting last. The mounting is pretty simple. What we're going to do, we're going to carefully, as carefully as we can, close the trunk, the hood to your car. And then we're going to connect this back up. And then we're just going to use the suction cups to put it on the hood of your car. And if you want to use the car, you just un-suction cup it and uncook. Okay. Okay. And away you go. Give you a nice long cord. Yeah, I wish the other one was long because then we could have had more options. So I just connect this up. Yep. So as you can see, there's little uh, a little uh, female and male on each side. And now I'm hopefully going to connect this and not have a. Doc Watson, a la Back to the Future, moment. He's got to press really hard. Yep. You're stronger than I am. I might have you come in and... I think that's done, isn't it? Well, it's not like closed. That's no, perfect. It's good. It's good enough? Yeah. Pick up the solar panel and look at the back of it. See what lights are on. A red light and a blue light. Okay. So we gotta see what that means. Yeah. So let's not, since this hood is so hard to open, let's leave it open till we know this might be working. Okay. Well, can't we just go look at the directions now? Yeah. Can I just leave this right here? Yeah, leave it where the sun will be. That's fine. Anywhere there is fine. It won't hurt anything? No. Here we go. Owner's manual instructions. So the lights. Yes. The blue light means it has sun. I don't know why you need a light for that, but it does. The red light means it is charging. The green light means it's full. What's full? The battery. Oh, is it green? Oh, it's not green. Correct. So, so when we come out, if we see it's green, then we know it's working. We know it's full. No, it's full. That's good. Full means working. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so I think uh, for we can call this project complete for a while. Wait, why? Because we're going to wait till we see the green light. And it, then if it, it, it might never get the green light in its current situation. Because with the hood up like that, there's probably an idiot light on the dashboard on. So what I hear you saying is you want to vote to close everything up. If, if close everything up means close the hood, yeah. yeah. Do you want to vote to close the hood? Yeah. Do we have to then figure out right now how to dangle it? Our suction cup? Yes. Here? Okay. So. I mean, look, can it go for a day or two like it is? Sure. So it's hot right now. That's my point. So let's go in and just leave it the... That's but, what I'm saying. But the project isn't done. No, I know. That's why I'm saying temporarily, we're going to pause, come back and check on it in a while, maybe tomorrow. So you could check on it now. The thing is, you need to check on it before it loses sun. Because once you lose sun, it's going to stop charging. And if it was full, we won't catch it. You need to catch it when it's charging. Okay, so it is several days later. And now we are going to see if my Subaru starts. This will show if the... Uh, Solar charging experiment is working. Okay, well that is a very good sign. I think we can call this experiment a success. I hope it lasts for the long term. I do need to get my Subaru out driving it. I think one of my upcoming trips I'll take it out for a car wash. That will help, you know, the battery a little bit to just driving it and letting it um, recharge as it drives. Yes, it is uh, raining here today, thankfully, but I want to go ahead and finish this video. 
So I decided just to come out and test it so I could uh, wrap up this video. Uh, I always enjoy making these videos. Thank you for your support. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Love having you here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Really appreciate you joining my community. And uh, that's all for now. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.